How you doing everybody? Welcome back to another Jersey Drew episode. Today I'm over here at the lovely Muscle Beach, aka Brandon Perez's house, and I'm here today to teach you nose picks using your foot. Most of us don't ride brakes anymore, but I brought a special guest today, my buddy Jeff Rumeed. show you how to do nose picks using brakes. Okay, Mr. Jeff, could you please explain to the people out there in YouTube land and all the little kids watching on this channel right now how to do a nose pick using your front brakes? Well, uh, when you have front brakes, obviously everybody says it's going to be a little bit easier, and it is. You know, you don't have to stick your foot in your front wheel, but it opens up a lot of doors to different tricks, but to do a nose pick with front brakes, you gotta make sure that you can pop out in the deck. Um, so pick a ramp that you're comfortable with, a wedge, just you know, make sure you got enough speed to get to the top. And uh, when you get to the top, you want to place just your front wheel over the deck, you know, wherever you wanna put it. I mean, it could be far out when you're first learning just to feel safe, but when you wanna actually start rolling back on the quarter, you wanna place your front wheel on the deck and you still wanna have your weight leaning over the transition. That's gonna let you get back into the transition so you can pull the front wheel back in just like if you were putting your foot in there. Um, so enough speed to pop out onto the deck, leave the transition, put that front wheel down on the ground, you know, put your faith in your brakes, lean that, lean your body weight over the transition so you're not gonna loop out or um, you're gonna be able to make it back in without doing a disaster or casing it or bouncing your back wheel off, which could be a catastrophe. Um, yeah, leave that, that weight over the transition, reach out, put your front brakes, you know, put your front wheel where you need to put it, and then pull it back in and ride away. you can use your foot and uh, a foot jam nose pick if you will um, I am shit footed so uh, I'm gonna be using my wrong foot but you could use whatever foot that you want whatever is more comfortable with you um, but same motion you want to roll up just enough speed to pop out keep your back wheel up you know um, but instead of hitting your front brakes like I do because it's cheating you want to be able to put that front wheel down and get your foot right in where your tire meets your forks so you can stop it all right and same motion keep your back wheel out over the deck keep your weight over the inside so you lift out put your foot in your forks get that front wheel down hold the back end up and then the same motion of taking your foot out you want to lift up on the bars get your foot back on your pedal and ride away clean all right and for everybody who says that i'm going to cheat this through keep an eye on the brake lever fingers they're going to be death grip Okay, so that's how you were to start to learn how to do foot jams and nose picks. Uh, what other tricks, once you learn the basics, could you maybe try to do once you master just the regular basics? Foot jam nose picks and nose picks you can do anywhere. You can take them to your favorite quarter pipe, wedges, sub boxes, vert walls, rails. You know, it's, uh, just do it, have fun with it. Be as creative as you want. You could basically do it on almost everything and anything, even a friggin' rock out in your neighborhood or your curb. Or if you want to, you know, foot jam your parents' hood, I don't recommend that. That Jersey dude does not condone nose picking your parents' hood of your car. But, you know, just get, like you said, get creative with it, have a lot of fun with it. You're only limited by your imagination. And as always, I thank my special guest, Mr. Jeff Mead over here, aka Front Brakes, aka Weird Lip Lord of New Jersey. And, uh, and as always, please, if you like the video, 
like, comment, share, subscribe. If you'd like to know more, please comment down below and I could maybe help you guys put together, put together another how-to video on some tricks that you guys might be interested in. As always, thank you again for watching. See you next time.